Hey guys, what's up? I'm just going to do a video of uh, my game collection update. Just a few consoles, nothing in general. But, uh, let's begin. Super Adventure Island? It's an alright action game. It's really nothing special, though. I mean, if you played one action game, you've kind of played them all. This one doesn't differentiate itself. It's not different from all the others. Ninja Guy and Trilogy? You got Ninja Guy in 1, 2, and 3 on this thing. It has improved graphics. Um, it's got a password system, and they kind of lightened up on the difficulty in Ninja Guy in 3. But yeah, it's pretty good. My favorite's got to be the first. Ninja Guy is a brutally hard game, too. Pokey and Roki. Um, this game's a little hard to classify. It's, it's kind of like a shooter, but at the same time, it's more like an action game. Because, you, yeah, it, it, let's just say that. Uh, it's a pretty good game. Haven't beat it, though. I'd check it out. That one's pretty cheap. The second one's a little expensive. R-Type 3. Uh, it's a shooter. It's one of those vertical ones. I'm more of the horizontal kind. I'm better at those. But this one is brutally hard. It, it, it's fun, but it sucks when you die. You lose all your power-ups. And if you die with all the power-ups, and you have no chance with no power-ups. Arrow Fighters. Uh, this is just a ridiculously easy shooter. Like, even on the hardest difficulty, this game really isn't all that challenging. For some reason, though, this game is really rare. Well, not really rare, but it costs about $60 just for the cartridge. Not this one, though, because, I mean, it's ripped. Who would really want to spend 60 on this? For that price, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd say get something better. Uh, Majo or something like that. It's King of Demons. Uh... The best way I can explain this is Castlevania with a gun. That's basically the easiest way to explain it. It's pretty short, and in all honesty, it's very easy. Even though you think, look at this. Doesn't this look like a hard-ass game? It's pretty easy. But it is pretty fun. I don't know if that game's rare or not, but I, I was searching on eBay for a few months and only seen like two copies. So I guess it's kind of rare to come by. Rockman and Ford or Forte? This is by far the hardest Mega Man game I've ever played. Damn, it, it... Normally Mega Man games aren't too tough, but this one really brought it. Which I liked. I, I always like a little bit of challenge. One thing I don't like about Mega Man games, the newer ones, is that they keep recycling Wily's boss. I mean, it's boring now, because you know what's going to happen. Castle Shikigami 2? This is a weird-ass shooter. Like, you're not in a plane or anything, you're, you're a person flying over a city, shooting shit. It, it's so weird. And there's a lot of bullets, so it's pretty challenging. The, the, <laughs> the dialogue is so bad. It makes no sense at all. Like, I can't... I don't know what's going on. I'd recommend it just for the hilarious dialogue. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. As much as I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan, at least of the first, the others I can't really say much, but this one is just garbage. Well, not garbage, but... It just isn't that great. It is so easy. I put it on the hardest difficulty, and I got like halfway into the game. I didn't put any experience into my health, just all into the cards or whatever, and I was beating the bosses while taking like one hit. Halfway, and it's like, all right, all right, just turn it off. It's like, this is just too easy. I can handle a game being a little easy and fun, but when it's just that easy, and it really wasn't all that fun. Uh, or Tondalico 2 or something like that. Haven't played it. Don't think I'm going to... Xenosaga, haven't played it. Probably will. I bought a few PS2 games, I just haven't had the time for yet. Zone of Enders, I played this for a little bit. It's, in a way it feels kind of like a button masher, but it, it does seem pretty cool. I only got about an hour into it though, so not that great at it. Maximo, I, I really like this game. I don't know why people are complaining that it's so hard. It's not that hard. If you want a hard game, play the original Ghosts and Goblins or Ghouls and whatever. Those are fucking hard. This, it, it's a bit challenging, don't get me wrong, but I think it's a fuckload of fun. Uh, yeah, it's great. And it's also cheap. It cost me, like, a dollar or two. Can't beat that price for a good action game. God Hand. Haven't played it much. Seems like an alright beat em up. Uh, I have to play it more to actually give a better, you know, is it good or not. Uh... Devil Summoner? Haven't played it too much, but a eh, bit iffy on it. Kind of like it, but I kind of don't. I hate that. I hate when that happens in a game. I'm not sure if I like it. I'm not sure if I hate it. 
Persona 3. This game's actually pretty good. Uh, I'll, I don't think I'm even, like, halfway into it. I kind of keep playing on and off. Like, I'll play for one day, wait a week, come back to it. But yeah, it's a pretty cool dungeon crawler. Uh, I've never actually played any of the Persona games before. I know they made a few, but I don't know. I played this, and I must say it's pretty damn good. Uh, Capcom vs. SNK 2. I love the original Capcom vs. SNK. And you know something? This one did not disappoint. Though I'm not sure if I prefer this one or the original. It's kind of close. But yeah, this is a great one. They added a lot of new characters. The only thing I wish they would do in those t kind of games is have you be able to switch in and out with people. Kind of like in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Frame grid. Eh. It it's a robot beat em up Not beat em up like Battle Arena. Didn't really like it. It was very boring. Evil to win. I found this game by complete accident. I wasn't looking for it or anything. I just kind of stumbled across it. This game was only released in PAL, and it's really not heard of at all. But it is actually pretty good. I mean, the gameplay isn't too great, but I like the scenario. It's kind of like a Nightmare Before Christmas. It kind of reminds me of Medi Medieval on the PS1, the scenario. And the music's also pretty cool, too. Which, it, But uh, not the best on gameplay, but I like everything else. So. Nightmare Creatures 2. Oh, God. This is god-awful. Very laggy. Music's eh. Eh, controls eh. Eh. Mortal Kombat Gold. I've never been a Mortal Kombat fan. I, I just can't play them. I, I don't really like Mortal Kombat. Same with that one. MDK2. I've only played this for a little while. The controls are weird, to say the least. If you pl kind of, if you played, uh, the Gundam game on the Dreamcast, you'll know what weird controls are. But it doesn't seem too bad, but... It would work a lot better with a PS2 controller or an Xbox. Because then you'd have the dual analogs. Ratergy? If you look at the cover, it looks like one of those crappy dating games, but the back... It's actually a shooter. If you can believe that. Uh, it's not too bad. Not too great. It's playable. Kinda boring. Resident Evil 2? Who hasn't played Resident Evil 2? Come on. It's great. You know it. Uh, well, that's a good summary. King of Fighters 2002? I can't play King of Fighters. I, I keep trying, and I just can't. I just, I don't know. Something about King of Fighters in me just does not blend. Virtual Fighter 3? Third. Third? Fuck it. Virtual Fighter. 3D Fighter. Eh. Never liked Virtual Fighter. That didn't change me either. The Typing of the Dead. <laughs> yeah, if you can believe that, they actually made a typing game on the Dreamcast. You need a, a, a keyboard, and like a word pops up above the zombie, and you type it in. It sounds stupid, because it is stupid, but it is ridiculous fun. And it is ridiculously hard later on. If you can believe that. I didn't think it was going to be. I was laughing. It's like, bullshit. This game's going to be a joke. Got to, like, the third level. It's like, oh, shit, shit. It's hilarious. Like, it's hard not to laugh playing that game. Street Fighter 3, Double Impact. I don't like it. I don't know. The, the characters just don't fit for Street Fighter. They're so weird. They don't belong. And just the comp... Eh. Can't really recommend it. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna have to make this a two-part, even though I didn't think I would have. To.